This is SAT test 7, non-calculator question number 3. College Board presents a system of equations and asks which ordered pair XY satisfies the system of equations shown above. Satisfying a system of equations means that if you substitute the X and Y values from that point into the first equation, the equation is true, and if you satisfy the same values into the second equation, that equation is also true. Graphically, what it means is if you graph these two equations, the points of intersection satisfy both equations because they're points on the graph of the first one and they're also points on the graph of the second one. Since I don't have a calculator, I'm probably not going to graph this. So let's try substituting them in directly because they've given us points. If x equals negative 3 and y equals 0, negative 3 is equal to 0 minus 3. How about this one? 0 is equal to 3 minus 3. So both of these are good for the first equation. Is 6 equal to negative 3 minus 3? No. Negative 3 minus 3, the y value here, minus 3 would be negative 6, which is not positive 6, so choice C is wrong. The y value here, negative 6, minus 3 is negative 9, that's not equal to 36, so choice D is wrong. The correct answer would be either A or B, and I'm going to plug choice B into the second equation because that way I have 0 over 2, which is easy. 0 over 2 plus 2 times 3 that is 0 plus 6 and that is equal to 6 so choice B is the correct answer. It satisfies the system of equations shown above. Alternatively, I could solve this more algebra algebraically. One option is since I'm looking for y, I can, well, my y values are different in all of them, as are the x's, so I can look for either variable. If I substitute in for x in that second equation, I have x over 2 is y minus 3 over 2, plus 2y equals 6. And I want to solve for y. I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2 to get rid of the fraction because fractions are always awkward. 2 times y minus 3 over 2, the 2's cancel and I have y minus 3. But I also have to distribute the 2 to the 2y, so 2 times 2y is 4y. 6 times 2 is 12. Add 3 to both sides. y plus 4y is 5y. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0, that's why I added 3. 12 plus 3 is 15. Divide by 5, and 5y five equals 15 becomes y equals 3. So the correct answer is the choice that has a y coordinate of 3, and that is choice B. One other option, I could use elimination. It's probably not the most efficient method. But if you make that your go-to method, it does work. It just takes longer than necessary. So let's take that first equation and move the y to the left-hand side. That's x minus y equals negative 3. And the second equation is 1 half x plus 2y equals 6. I just prefer having a coefficient rather than a denominator. Let's multiply this first equation through by 2. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative y is negative 2y. 2 times negative 3 is ne negative 6. And the reason I multiplied 3 by 2 is that turns the negative y into negative 2y. If I combine that with positive 2y, I get 0y and I only have x. I only have one variable. So 1 half, which is 0.5, plus 2 is 2.5 x, because I'm adding these two equations here, plus 0y equals 6 minus 6 is 0. Divide by 2.5, although we may have seen it already, x equals 0. Choice B is the only choice in which x equals 0, so that must be the correct answer. That's it for this system of equations problem. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.